Hey guys, Dave Shepard here. Thought I'd give you a look at uh, Mercedes Unimog. This here is the 1300L model. Excuse me while I get up under the hood here. Get the old hood prop down. But there you have it under the hood of uh, Mercedes Unimog. Pretty simple, really. We'll get a little better look here, but it is a Daimler Mercedes built. Um, it's an inline six cylinder diesel, non turbo model here. Um, sort of interesting, it is a Mercedes built engine. This one is an OM352, it is 352 cubic inch, inline six. Um, these are only rated at about 130 horsepower, is all lots of torque, low end, but only about 130 horsepower. It's bumped up to about 170 this same engine with a turbocharger fitted. Um, it's got onboard air, of course, com belt driven compressor down there to run the brakes, as well as a number of accessories. Um, air pressurized, don't mind the uh, custom overflow bottle there, but air pressurized, you see an air hose going into the power steering reservoir, which actually takes a straight 10 weight engine oil. Something kind of unique about this setup. Um, other than that, water cooled and uh, pretty simple, really. Give you guys a little walk around here, but obviously some paint and body work done on these models, but they were combat version, originally for the German military. You could see, uh, I'll show you inside here, but you could see there is, maybe you can't see, but take my word for it, there's a gunner's hatch up there. Um, so this was a combat version. Eight-speed manual transmission with forward reverse selector, so you can use all eight gears in both forward or reverse. Uh, air service brake. There's your shift layout. It does have shift lights, um, just since it's a straight eight-speed with no low range option, um, the shifting can get a little interesting just even knowing what gear you're in. So there's indicator lights to display that, and there's also an air-activated shift gate. Um, so that you can't go from first gear, say, straight to seventh. There's a, a shift gate in between, and that's activated by air. When you go to third and click over for your higher gears, you'll hear pss, the air gate will release and allow you to go into those higher gears. Um, other than that, pretty simple, pretty standard stuff here, and a whole lot of fun to drive. There you go, guys. Oh, I'll show you. Um, it's also kind of unique. Um, three positions for driving mode one, which as you can see is rear wheel drive only. Driving mode two is four wheel drive, engages your center differential, and then driving mode three with these larger circles at both the front and rear is your front and rear locking differentials engaged. So three driving modes there, and uh, pretty standard otherwise. There you go guys, Mercedes-Benz Unimog, pretty cool, see ya.